Hello everyone, it's Irish and today we're joined by Mr. Edilberto Vicos III for an informational interview about being a customer service professional. Good day sir, how are you feeling today? I'm doing great. Uh, yeah. How about you? I'm doing great as well, thank you for asking. First of all, sir, thank you for lending me your precious time despite your busy schedule, so we'll keep this short. Let's begin. First question, sir, what are your responsibilities as a customer service professional? Um, in the call center industry, um, I basically uh, take in calls and handle card members of American Express. And so they would basically uh, call in to ask about their accounts, uh, make a payment, and basically help them with their uh, concern regarding their credit cards. How does this position fit within your organization or in the industry? Ah, in the BPO industry, it's uh, very vast. Uh, there's chat support, email support, uh, phone support. So I basically uh, take phone calls. I'm in the phone support. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty much versatile uh, in the sense that uh, you have to actually adapt with different kinds of needs of the customers. So. Well, in this field, you've met and encountered hundreds or even thousands of customers asking for assistance. Among those, do you remember dealing with a difficult customer and how did you handle it? Yeah, uh, it's part of the job already. I think almost every day you get uh, a customer who's uh, difficult uh, to handle. Um, you just have to think of them as a person and not just a customer. So they're going through a lot. Uh, they also have things that they have to uh, take care of in their personal lives. So when they call in and they're becoming very difficult, you have to think of uh, only two things. Uh, number one, uh, what kind of help do they need? And number two, what are, what's, the, uh, what's their emotion during that phone call? when you're having that conversation with them. Because once you uh, know what they're feeling at that time, you can easily connect with them. And then once you once they realize that you're there and you're genuine to help them with their concern, um, they'll turn 180 degrees. Um, they'll let you help them. And then yeah, at the end of the call, they might even give you a commendation because you ended the call very well. From what you've said, it sounds like this is not an easy job. So what kind of education, training, or background does this position require? Good question. Uh, call center agents doesn't necessarily have to uh, have a particular uh, college, college degree or a particular course in college that you have to finish. Uh, some of my colleagues didn't even finish college and we all come from all walks of lives. Um, I have colleagues who have licenses in engineering, financial uh, industry, uh, you name it. Um, so, because when you, the only thing that you need to have is uh, open mind, uh, open to feedback, and uh, number two, you have, you have to have a very, very good communication skills. Aside from what you've mentioned, are there any other skills abilities or personal attributes that are essential to success in this job or in this field? Alright, uh, like I mentioned in your previous question, uh, you have to be very open to feedback. Um, and in the call center industry, uh, you will learn a lot of things. How to deal with people, how to deal with your co-workers, how to deal with life. And it's very, very stressful. Uh, the environment when you take in calls, it's, it's very, very stressful. Especially if you're uh, handling a difficult uh, customer. Now, I just have to be, again, uh, very patient. Uh, patience is really, really an important thing. And then open to feedback. You have to be willing to learn. You're willing to unlearn the things that you've learned in the past so that you can accommodate new information. And then, uh, what else? Um, and yeah, you really have to be genuine. You really have to be uh, able to connect with your customers so that they know you're there to help them. Last question, sir. What advice would you give to someone who is considering this type of job? Ah, okay. So most of the call centers here in the Philippines are outsourced either in the Europe, uh, United States, North America, or even Middle East. 
So one of our jobs here uh, would require you to work on a night shift, graveyard shift. So you really have to be uh, healthy, you know, have, live a healthy lifestyle so that you can, your, your body could actually uh, accommodate that kind of uh, load of work, working at night. And then number two, uh, yeah, like I mentioned, uh, just be very, very open to feedback. Uh, having a very good communication skills is also a very, very important. Well, that's it for my question, sir. Again, thank you for lending me your time. Of course. Uh, I hope you have a great day ahead. Keep safe and God bless. Thank you.